Welcome to another Max How To Tips. Today we're going to be talking about Alexa, smart things, smart life, different platforms, integrating smart devices, and how to link them together. If you ever tried to work with this and uh, work with Alexa, you understand that some devices work with different platforms. So some things work with smart things, some things work with smart life, some things work with other platforms, uh, switches, plugs, whatever you're trying to do. I recently purchased a new garage door. And with that, the Genie uh, Ultra Quiet that works with Alexa. I could say, open the garage door, shut the garage door. I could check on status. But as every good garage door person or every homeowner, they eventually forget to uh, shut the garage door. So I wanted to put an indicator inside the house. I thought, well, I'll just take one of my spare smart plugs. That's hard to say. Add it to Alexa, build a routine, and when the garage door is open, turn it on. When the garage door is shut, turn it off. Well, as it turns out, when I looked in the routines in Alexa, there was no smart devices. I started looking around, I thought, well, I'll just uh, add my garage door to uh, to Smart Life, which is what I use as a platform. Unfortunately, the Genie Aladdin app was not included in Smart Life. But I saw it was supported by Smart Things, so I said, well, I'll just link it to Smart Things and add a plug there and make that work. Well, I added the garage door, that worked great. When I took my existing smart plugs and tried to add them to smart things, well, they weren't supported. So I thought, well, geez, I'm going to have to buy a different plug, add it to smart things, and, and do it that way. I said, there has to be a better way. So I was nosing around in smart things and, and realized there's a, there's a connector between smart life and smart things that you have to add in. Once you do that, it'll go ahead and connect all your devices. Smart things support the if then that. Uh, so that's what I did. So let's take a look at that and see how that works. So open Smart Things, and you can see I added my garage door. That worked great. You're going to add the connector by adding a device. And you're going to scroll down, and there's a bunch of different devices you can add. You actually want to click on By Brand. And you can see all the different add-ins for the different platforms you have. Uh, you can try this if you use different platforms. Uh, it may work. But as I scroll down, you'll see the uh, Smart Life will pop up there. And I'm going to select that. And then you're going to add a device that you have in your platform. So I'm just going to add a, a lighting. It'll go ahead and ask you to enter your passcode and uh, email or authenticate. You're going to pick the platform that you want to connect. So in this case, I use Smart Life. So I'm going to pick that. And we'll go ahead and connect it. So you need to authenticate it. Slide over the little connector. The little a puzzle piece uh, that'll connect your service and then as you authenticate you'll see it'll connect and link the two services and you can see it's importing all my devices and once that is done uh, you can close the page and you'll see all my lighting and devices I have at my home the thing is you're gonna have to rearrange these devices into the rooms that you normally have set up already so I'm going to show you one you just uh, hold down on one of them it'll bring up the edit You'll go in, you create your rooms, and you can change uh, where that device is located at. So I went ahead and matched uh, in Smart Things what I had in Smart Life, just to make it simple. And you can see now I have my garage door and indicator light. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my routine. So this is where it gets cool. Um, you go ahead and you uh, go to automation. There's a bunch of different routines already pre-programmed that you can select from, but you want to pick custom. That's where you get the if then that statement. So I'm, if you pick the if, I'm going to check my device status, I'm going to pick my garage door, and uh, I'm going to say when my garage door is open, of course, then I'm going to want to turn on the indicator light. So I'm going to pick the then, control the devices, pick my garage door indicator plug that I've uh, connected, and I'm going to make sure that I turn that on, hit done, hit save, it'll automatically come up and name the routine. So you can just hit OK or you can rename it to something you like. So there you can see I have my first routine. I'm going to do the same thing for the close. So I'm going to add a routine, pick the if, uh, pick my garage door by device status, and this time I'm going to say when the door is closed, and hit done, and then I'm going to put then, I'm going to go ahead and control devices, turn my light off. So pick the garage door indicator, whatever you named it, and I'm going to turn it off, hit done. Again, I'm going to save this, and it will give the, a different name for closed. 
And there are my two routines. So let's see this in action. So there you have it. I really hope that helped you connect your services and get your automation working. Happy Smart Life.